Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Gurgut. Today, we're making one of my favorite salads, and I'm not a big salad fan, but it's smashed cucumber salad. And I think it's a perfect spring summer dish because it's nice and refreshing. But before we have a look at all the ingredients we need, please do me a favor, if you're not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe and check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode is live. But now let's have a look at the board. So we'll start on the left side here. We have our cucumbers, obviously, and we have some salt and some MSG. Now we're doing a quick version of this. You can do a longer version where you have to kind of brine the cucumber overnight in a 3% salt solution with kombu leaves. Uh, but to replace the kind of umami from the kombu leaves, we're using a bit of MSG. So we're gonna kind of quick dry brine them. So we're not putting it in, in, in a liquid, we're just putting salt and MSG onto the cucumber. But I'll show you that in a bit. Now for the perfect dressing, we need our chili crunch. Now, if you follow the channel, you probably saw me do the chili crunch a couple of weeks ago. If not, the link to the chili crunch is there. And once you've done this chili crunch, you don't need to ever buy chili crunch again because this is so much better than the ones you buy. In addition to the chili crunch, we need five cloves of garlic or however much of garlic you want. But I think five is a good average. I don't like it too garlicky, but it needs to come through. We need 20 grams of brown sugar. You could also use honey if you want. 60 grams of dark sesame oil, 60 grams of soy, and 20 grams of rice vinegar. And the uh, chili crunch, I forgot to say, it's 100 grams. So five garlics, 100 grams of chili crab, crab, chili crab, chili crunch, 10 grams of sugar, 60 of dark sesame oil, 60 of soy, and 20 of rice vinegar. Here we have some fried onions, fried shallots, and some peanuts. And that's just gonna go on top afterwards. So we're gonna chop up the peanuts, the fried onion we just use like this. But let's start with the cucumber. Now I prefer to do this without the peel, but please feel free to leave the peel on. Now we cut off the ends. Slice them down the middle. And now we just remove the insides. So just do that all of your cucumbers. Now the insides have been removed. Let's clean up a bit again, and then we're gonna do the smashing. Now the easiest way to do this is just to get your knife and use your pan to smash. And all you're doing is kind of breaking up the structure of the cucumber meat, see like that. So do that to, to your cucumber. Now, I didn't say this before, but this is enough for about four people. So two whole cucumbers like this is enough for four people. And there we go. And now you can either do this with the knife, but you can also just kind of pull it apart. And this is how I prefer it. It's a bit more rough, but you get these kind of pieces. So pull all of your cucumbers apart now and put it in a separate bowl. As you can see, I just pulled them in kind of bite-sized pieces. Now get a kitchen scale out, weigh your cucumber. Now we're gonna need our MSG and our salt and our calculator. So 442 grams and we need one and a half percent of that in salt. That's gonna be about six grams. 
6.6 grams, but this is not that accurate. So we just zero it again, and we'll see if we can get somewhere between six and seven. That's seven, perfect. So that's one and a half percent salt, and we need one percent MSG. So that would be 4.4. So I think we'll try to get for four. Which would take us up to 11. There we go, perfect. And now all we need to do is just mix this up quickly. And we, we're trying to do two things. We're trying to draw some water out of the cucumber. And we're also trying to give some umami into the cucumber. And now we just leave this to stand for about 10 minutes. And in the meantime, we'll make the dressing. So for the dressing, it's 100 grams of chili crunch. The 60 grams of sesame oil and 60 grams of soy sauce are 20 grams of rice vinegar and 10 grams of brown sugar. And then we need to just grate up our garlic. We can also press it in, but I prefer grating. So I'll see you once we grated it all up. So we'll just put our garlic in as well. And all we need to do now is give this a good mix. Give this a try. It's excellent. You know what we're gonna put in? You don't have to do this. And I didn't have it on the ingredient board, but we're gonna chop some um, coriander up quickly and put it in as well. And I found some spring onions in the fridge as well. So I went ahead and chopped some of that up too. So coriander and spring onions. Mix this up again. Give it another try. Wonderful. Now we can put this to the side as well. The last thing we have to prep is to just chop up a bit of peanuts. Now this could be a bit messy sometimes, so we'll try it slowly by hitting them. And then we can just walk over them slowly with a knife. So just chop up your peanuts. And then we're pretty much ready to, well, get the water out of the cucumber and then plate up. So I'm quite happy with this. We'll just put it in a container. And let's have a look at our cucumber. Now our cucumber has been brining for 10 minutes. And I just wanted to show you with, a, with another plate how much water we're getting out of them. That's quite a bit of water. Now let's uh, plate this up. But before we start here, as always, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It goes really quickly. It's just down there, it takes you a second but it's so important for me to get my content out there in the YouTube universe. But now let's start with this. I'm just gonna do one portion because you don't wanna mix it too early because it will still draw water and then it would kind of blend away the taste a little bit. So you wanna mix this just before you eat it. So I'm just gonna mix a portion for myself so that we can share it. Get a good sp spoon and a half of our dressing. We'll mix this up. Easy as this with your hand. Now we'll place it in a bowl. And then on top of this, a bit of pineapple, pineapple, a bit of peanuts, and a bit of 
fried shallots. And that's it. That's our smashed cucumber salad. Let's give it a try. Mm. Now, for those of you who pays at <laughs> attention and notices small differences, yes, I added some uh, sliced red chilies because I, I don't know if you know this, but in between the dish being plated and me tasting it, I always do the, the thumbnail picture. So I always cut and do the th thumbnail picture and it just looks so much nicer with some red in the picture. So we added a little bit of freshly uh, sliced chili. This is great. It's crunchy. It has umami. It has spice. It has sweetness, saltiness. Basically, everything you're looking for, these smashed cucumbers have. So, if you like this kind of thing, do give it a try. It fits with many different dishes. Wish I was better with the sticks. Really great dish. But that's it for today. I believe it's a shorter than normal one. And this is really something you can whip up during a weeknight after you come home from work. With this kind of pickling method, the dry brine method, it doesn't take you much longer than 10, 15 minutes. The cucumber needs to stay 10 minutes, I would say. And in that time, you will easily have done the dressing and prepared the kind of chopped uh, peanuts as well. So it's something you can do during the week. And I really hope you enjoyed it. Do leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the episode. And as always, for those of you who don't subscribe, the button, just click it and check the bell icon so that you get notifications. But that's it for today. Take care. Bye-bye.